it was really scary that night that I was diagnosed. I had so many questions. My name is Jenny Tucker. I'm 22 years old and I have non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, AKA NASH. It sounded really foreign, like an older person would have, not a 19 year old. I was just really confused, really frustrated. My doctor decided to send me to a liver specialist to really figure out what's going on. That came back stage three NASH. I learned that treatment for this disease is basically diet and exercise. We started to see changes. We started to see the weight come off. I started to get color. In my face, I wasn't so pale. I had like so much energy. And I was like, oh, this is how everyone else feels. I, I actually got a liver biopsy done. It came back as stage one instead of stage three. I'm really curious to know what's gonna be the future of NASH. Can we come up with some kind of medication treatment? Dear scientist, my doctor predicted that I was about a year away from cirrhosis of the liver. So at age 19, my life was changed forever. Apparently, my genetics and lifestyle made my liver this way. I had to unlearn what I knew about food and change how I'd done things my entire life. Knowing I was diagnosed early enough to reverse the damage, my parents and I decided to take better strides for our health. But once I took hold of my health, I had so much energy. I thought to myself, is this how I'm supposed to feel all the time? Even though this illness has presented a daily challenge, I've learned how to overcome my challenges, and I'm now better and healthier for it. I cannot I thank, thank my, my doctor, doctor enough, enough for, for figuring out what was going on with my liver. And I want to thank you for all the incredible work and research you're doing to get a better understanding of NASH. Sincerely, Jenny Tucker. Hi, Jenny. I'm Anne-Marie. Welcome to Pfizer. Excited to chat today. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I read your letter. It's so inspirational. And the, first and foremost, I'd like to really commend you and your family for the work you've done in terms of your lifestyle, changes you've made to your diet. We'd never heard of NASH before, so we had no idea what it was. Right, so um, right. my mom actually did a ton of research. So like what's the right kinds of foods to eat, exactly. um, exercising. So, cause we kind of didn't really know what we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> no, but that's good. You guys did the right thing. And so for us, really getting a better understanding from patients as to what they experience, what symptoms and, and how they would like a new therapy to resolve that, it's important. I think it's gonna be very important to raise awareness and education so that both the doctors and the patients know what they're dealing with. And then the other important thing is, again, having the right uh, markers to be able to diagnose it. So a lot of our approaches, a lot of the treatments that we are developing are in the early phases of tackling fat accumulation in the, in the liver. The science is evolving very rapidly and we are understanding a lot more about the etiology of the disease, uh, what causes the disease, but we feel like we also need to understand it from your perspective, right? So tell me, what would you like me to tell our scientists? When you get a liver biopsy, I've had two of them. You have to be on bed rest for days. It can be painful. So if we could find a way to diagnose someone without having to go through that, right. that would be a big help. Well, that's a very important point, to try to develop these non-invasive uh, markers to be able to diagnose NASH um, and, and not have you go through the pain. Um, so I'm hoping that we will come up with something soon. Yeah. Um, some method of diagnosing, maybe just a blood test, um, that will allow them to diagnose NASH. It's two-way. We're learning a yeah. lot from you, as much as you're learning from us. So yeah. thank you so much. Oh, thank you.